Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be looking at how to filter our data by excluding items from a list rather than just a single item coded into the filter function. And the way we're gonna do that is by combining the filter function with the match function. Let's check it out. All right, so in this example, we're gonna be looking at it in a single sheet. You could totally do this across multiple sheets in a spreadsheet, um, but I think this will make it easier to follow. So this blue section is basically where we're gonna do our work and have our, our final filtered list by excluding the things that we have listed in column I, which is this red section. Our master data is this in the middle, which is basically whatever big data set you have that you're working off of to filter down. So essentially we're gonna, we're gonna try to match these two tables and when there's an error matching it, that's how we know it's gonna be excluded and that's how we use the filter to work down this list. So the formula will look like this and we can see it working here. But let's break this down real quick. So let's start with the match function. And what the match function is gonna do is we're gonna use it to check our master data actually on the ID column, a unique value, against the list of excluded ones. So if we do i3i and we use parameter zero to say where it's an exact match, we're actually gonna get that NA error, which is good because what it's doing is saying this first value doesn't match that. So we want to identify where everything is NA because those are the things we actually want to return. So we want to return J, Becky, Bill, Becky, right? We don't want to return the Sally items. So if we attach on top of that the isNA function, what that is gonna do is return a true false. So we see now that this is returning true for any of the ones that are NA. In this case, since it's not expanded down, it's just talking about this first row. But that's important because what the filter function is doing is looking for a true false statement as the condition to know how to filter. So bringing it back to the macro, we're gonna filter our master data set, which is E3 to G. We're gonna do that based on the condition of that formula we just typed. So we'll type it out again. So we wanna look for the things that are actually NA when we match our master data set on the ID against our excluded list, where they are an exact match. Okay, so let's just close our parentheses as needed. So we have one, two, and three for the filter. We hit enter and we're back to where we were in the beginning, which is showing all of our data, but we're excluding anything that says Sally. Uh, and so once this is set up now, you can just add to your excluded list. So let's say, we wanted to exclude Becky as well from that list. Now we're down to the only two people that were in that list. So you have a dynamic way of now just managing your master data with your exclude list and you ha can add as many things as you want that to that list rather than having to hard code it into your filter function. So that's it, this sheet will be available for you to make a copy of in the description um, and I hope this is helpful. We'll see you next time.